Hello, I'm Doug DeWitt, T-Shirt Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems, welcoming you to our latest video in challenges of running T-Shirt Transfer Papers through ordinary color laser printers and copiers out there on the market. In today's challenge, we're going to try to run transfer paper through this unit, the Rico SPC250DN Color Laser Printer. The reason that we picked this particular printer is because it's a fairly inexpensive unit that anybody can acquire through a retail chain such as Office Max, Office Depot, or Staples, or it could be ordered online from Rico Direct. Now this printer should come in at a price tag under $200, but the catch is, can we run transfer paper through it? Well in today's video, that's what we're going to find out. The first thing we're going to do is cover some of the features and specifications of this Rico printer so that you have a better understanding of how it works. The next thing we're going to do is go over menu settings on the printer and driver settings in the driver so that you can run transfer paper successfully. Then after that's concluded, what we're going to do is tell you about which papers you can and cannot feed through this particular unit, and we'll go through step by step on how to run the papers that we recommend for this particular RICO. So let's go ahead and get started by covering the features and specifications of this unit. The RICO SPC250DN is a desktop printer that prints A size, meaning 8.5 by 11 inch or 8.5 by 14 inch. It is a four color process printer using black, cyan, magenta, and yellow as its process colors. This unit prints at 21 pages per minute in both black and white and color. But when we run it in a mode for transfers, understand that the print speed might slow down to about 12 pages per minute. It comes with a 350 megahertz internal processor and has 128 megabytes of memory standard. The printer has three print resolutions. Speed mode, which is 600 by 600 DPI, standard mode, which is 1200 by 600 DPI, and fine mode, which is 2400 by 600 DPI. It has 80 PostScript fonts and is PCL and PostScript 3 compatible. Another nice feature of this printer is you can connect it with a USB cable, an Ethernet cable, or it can be wirelessly connected. Make sure to consult the user's guide for the Rico in order to set up your wireless network. Now, let's open up the printer and identify some of the components. One thing you'll notice about the printer is that the toner cartridge and image drum comes as one contained unit, and you have your four primary process colors, black, yellow, magenta, and cyan. If we open up the front panel of the unit, we can identify the fuser unit, which is located right here, in case you ever have a paper jam, here is the duplex unit because this unit does have built-in duplexing features, meaning we can print the front and back of a sheet. Down here we have our main tray one where we will load plain paper into this tray. For running transfers, we want to use the bypass tray which is located right here. It is a manual feed bypass tray and we'll cover that as we get into the video. But now what we need to cover is how to reprogram the printer in order to run transfer paper successfully. In order to run transfer paper through the Rico SPC250DN, we're going to have to adjust some menu settings on the unit itself. So let's run through those steps. We're going to hit the menu button here, and we are going to go to paper input, hit OK. As far as paper size is concerned, let's hit OK again and let's scroll down using the down arrow till we get to bypass tray. Let's hit OK to enter this menu and let's make sure that our bypass tray is set up to run an 8.5 inch by 11 inch sheet. The asterisk in front of the number indicates that the change is locked in. So now let's hit the escape key and let's go to Paper Input, Paper Type. Let's hit OK to enter this menu. Let's use the down arrow to get to the bypass tray. Hit OK to enter this menu. And you'll notice the default is plain paper. We're going to hit our down arrow and continue to hit and scroll through the settings until we get to Thick Paper 2. Then let's hit OK 
Notice the asterisk appears, meaning the change is locked in. Once we've made that change, we can go ahead and hit escape to exit out the menu until the unit indicates it's ready to print. Now that we've reprogrammed the printer, let's cover the driver settings on our computer. Now that I'm in my Devices and Printers folder in my Windows 10 application, you'll notice I have the Ricoh SPC250DN PostScript driver loaded. The first thing I'm going to want to do is highlight and set up this printer as my default printer. Once we've got the checkbox indicating the printer has been defaulted, we're going to right click and we're going to go into Printing Preferences. And this should pull up the PostScript driver. Now you'll notice here we have two tabs, Layout, Paper Quality. On the Layout tab, what we want to do is set our orientation depending on how the artwork will be printed on the page, whether that it's portrait or landscape. Next, let's go to the Paper Quality tab. We'll notice that the paper source is defaulted to Automatically Select. Let's go ahead and change this option to our Bypass Tray. As far as the media type is concerned, you'll notice the media type is defaulted to plain, middle thick, or recycled, which is a standard default setting. But we need to match it up to how we reprogrammed our RICO. So let's pull down this menu and let's set it to Thick 2. We'll notice here that in the Thick 2 setting, we could run up to a 160 gram per square meter weight paper. Now, what I want to show you is the advanced PostScript features of the driver. We can access this by clicking this button here. Now, in the advanced features, we can go ahead and set our paper size, which in this case will be letter size or 8.5 inch by 11 inch. We can also run multiple copies here through the driver. Under image color management, we have the ability to either disable color management or have it run through the host system, which would be your graphic software, or through the printer itself. We can also set our intent to graphics or pictures, proof or match. For transfer paper purposes, generally speaking, we're going to select graphics if it's a line art, clip art, or vector art design, or pictures if it's photographic output. Some other nice features of the driver. We have the ability to turn color profiles on or off as well as CMYK simulation profiles. Now, one thing we want to check here, we've got our color or black and white mode. Let's make sure that we are on color. And as far as our gray reproductions, we want that to be handled by the black, not a composite. That'll actually save you some toner and save you some money. As far as economy color is concerned, this is if you were doing a draft on the plain paper. But since we're using transfer paper, let's make sure that is turned off. Let's go up to print quality here. You'll notice that we have some options as far as standard, high quality, or best quality. Let's go ahead and select best quality for our t-shirt transfers. Another interesting feature is that we can turn individual colors off here in the PostScript driver. So in other words, we could turn black off and simply print with three process colors, or we can turn off our cyan, magenta, and yellow and simply print with black. This is a nice feature because usually when a printer runs out of toner, it shuts the printer down. But in this case, if you run out of a particular color, you can continue to print as long as you turn that color off. But once you've made all your changes, go ahead and click OK, Apply, OK here, and we should be ready to run some transfer paper through this machine. So, let's get back to a wide shot of the printer and I'll show you step by step how to run transfer paper through this printer. So now that we're here at the printer, we're going to demonstrate how to run four different transfer papers through this Ricoh SPC250DN. I'm going to run Nina Technoprint EZP, Nina Image Clip Laser Light, the new Nina Technoprint Hard Surface Paper, and the Nina Image Clip Laser Dark. The first thing that we want to do is load the bypass paper tray. So let's grab our sheet of transfer paper and let's identify the backing sheet side from the print side. When we're loading into the bypass tray, we want the backing sheet side face up, 
the print side face down. We're simply going to slip our sheet of paper into the bypass tray until we feel it catch. Now, let's go over to the computer and let's send a few prints through. Now that I'm here at my computer, let's go ahead and send this graphic to our Rico printer through Corel Draw X7. I'm going to go ahead and click File, go down to Print, and make sure that the Rico SPC250DN comes up as my destination printer. I can click here on Preferences to access the driver. Let's double check some things. Let's go to the Layout tab. Let's make sure that our orientation is select properly, which in this case, I want it to print portrait or up and down the page. Let's go to our paper quality tab and make sure that our paper source is selected as the bypass tray and that our media type is selected for thick two. The nice thing about using this particular printer is for all four of the transfer papers that we're going to demonstrate, plus any other paper that we have rated for this RICO, they're all going to run the same way through the bypass tray with this thick two media type setting. So let's go ahead and click OK, apply our changes, let's send the graphic to the printer, and I'm going to have John, our cameraman, show different papers running through the RICO. So let's quickly summarize our assessment of the Rico SPC250DN laser printer in regards to how it runs t-shirt transfer paper. What we've got to understand is that it can run a transfer paper up to a 160 gram per square meter weight. We demonstrated with four papers today, Nina Technoprint EZP, Nina Technoprint HS, which is their new hard surface paper, Nina Image Clip Laser Light, and Nina Image Clip Laser Dark. All those were easy to run through the bypass tray and I thought delivered some beautiful quality because these papers come in at under 160 grams per square meter. Now what we have to understand is that there are going to be some papers that you cannot feed through this RICO. Examples would be the Nina Laser One opaque material for dark garments because this paper does weigh in heavier than 160 grams per square meter. Also, this printer does not have a transparency setting which is what you need in order to run the Forever Low Temp A-foil film and the new Forever Flex Soft material. So unfortunately, you won't be able to run those dark garment papers through this printer. But for your white or light color transfer papers or for your hard surface papers, I think this printer does an excellent job for the under $200 price tag. Another neat feature is that the toner and drum is contained in one unit so it makes replacement easy as far as the bypass tray is concerned, it's a single sheet feed bypass tray. So you might have to get used to feeding your transfers one at a time. But for under $200 to have a wireless network compatible laser printer to knock out the occasional transfers, we think this is a pretty sweet printer. And we hope that you think so as well. So that's our little demonstration test drive on the Rico SPC250DN laser printer and how it runs t-shirt transfer paper. Now, if you have any questions about the procedures that we used in this video, don't hesitate to contact us direct at 1-800-826-6332, or you can visit our website at www.condi.com for more information. Until next time, I'm Doug DeWitt, T-Shirt Transfer Paper Product Manager here at Condi Systems. My time is up, and I thank you for yours. There are so many videos for you to watch, we don't want you to miss out on a single one. 
So click here to subscribe to Kindy TV on our video channel. Click here to like us on Facebook so you don't miss out on anything. And click here to visit this product's webpage.